Flower Bag Suggestion If you are a beginner, please start your project from the basic stitches. The video of the basic stitches will be more detailed and friendly to beginners. Hold yarn with left hand, like this. Left index finger controls the tension of the yarn. Please keep this yarn in a straight line. Hold the hook in the right hand, like this. For the bag, I'm going to make a magic circle. Hold your yarn. Then wrap yarn around your middle finger. Press and hold the interlaced place. Grab your hook and thread it through the yarn. Grab your yarn, then come back. Then make two chain stitches. To make chain stitch, yarn around. Then pull through the loop on your hook. One chain stitch is done. The abbreviation for chain stitch is CH. Now make the second chain stitch, yarn around. Then pull through the loop on your hook. The second chain stitch is done. This is a magic circle, and next we will work in it. Now let's start our first round. For the first round, I'm going to make 10 half double crochet in the circle. To make half double crochet, yarn around. Insert the hook into the magic circle. Grab the yarn. Then come back. There are three loops on the hook. Now yarn over. Then pull through three loops on your hook. This is a half double crochet. The abbreviation for half double crochet is HDC, and it's also the first stitch for the first round. We put a stitch marker in the first stitch. Passing through the middle of two loops. Now I'm going to make the second half double crochet. Yarn around. Then insert the hook into the magic circle. Grab the yarn. Then come back. Now yarn over. Then pull through three loops on your hook. The second half double crochet is done. Now make the third one. Yarn around and insert the hook into the circle. Grab the yarn and come back. Now yarn over, then pull through three loops on your hook. Now make the fourth one. Yarn around and insert the hook into the circle. Now
Now make the fifth one. The sixth one. The seventh one. The eighth one. The ninth one. The tenth one. Enlarge the loop on the hook and take out the hook. The yarn almost looks like it's making a V shape in each half double crochet. To count your stitch count how many V's on the top of the half double crochet. Once you have 10 half double crochet, pull the magic circle tight. Unless a pattern says otherwise, put the hook under both top loops. In the transition from one round to the next. Joined rounds have a clear beginning and end. The end of one round is connected to the beginning of the same round with a join, like a slip stitch and chain. The result is a piece with straight rounds but also a seam. Now take out the stitch marker. and join with a slip stitch. To make slip stitch, insert your hook to the first stitch, the position where the marker was just placed. Grab the yarn and come back. Then pull through the loop on your hook. This is a slip stitch. The abbreviation for slip stitch is SS. Pull hard on the loop on the hook, and the slip stitch just now will shrink. There is a tail on the wrong side of the fabric. Put the tail in this place. Then I'm going to make two chain stitches for the beginning of the second round. 